doesn't matter where you work, no one likes fire drills, right? Because you know a lot of times, it's not a real fire. But you know how it goes. You've got to leave everything behind. All head to the assembly point. That is providing that you remember where that's supposed to be. Everyone goes up, lines outside, kill a bit of time. You're on the clock anyway. Go back inside. Everyone's happy. We go out on this fire alarm and I'm looking and I'm like, there's Janet from finance. Janet, what is that? And looking down at her hand and she's like, I couldn't, I couldn't leave my handbag behind. It's just too precious to me. It's too valuable. I'm thinking like, Janet, you're not supposed to bring anything outside. Like you're going to get in trouble. If that was a real fire, Janet, then you could have burned inside there. You could have been dead because of the handbag. So anyway, I don't grasp on Janet, right? I just leave her to it. But a couple of months ago, something different happened. We had a fire alarm again, but it wasn't a drill this time. There was smoke coming out of the opposite building. Children were screaming. And I'm there being a fire marshal. I'm like, I've got to make sure this place is safe. I've got to make sure everyone out of this bit is clear before I can go outside and give it all clear. I go inside there. There's a corridor. There's a fire on the other side of the corridor. Guess who is there? Janet from accounts again. She's down on the floor. She's trying to stay low beyond the spoke. She's like, oh, help me. Help me, Baker. Like, I need some help. And I'm just like, Janet, what are you? What was you thinking, Janet? Oh, please, please, I really need help. And I thought at this point, you know, like you're enjoying the smoke inhalation down there. Here you go, and throw her the handbag. You have your handbag then, Janet. I turn around, I bounce out of there. Just I get outside the front and that's it. My boss is saying to me, oh, everyone out of the building is all clear. I'm like, buildings, or just as I'm literally about to say, buildings all clear, boom, doors burst open behind me. I turn around, guess what? Janet's just rolled out of the building. She's got the handbag on her head. She takes it off like, oh, gasping for air. And I'm like, Janet, she's like, I told you this bag is too precious and I couldn't get rid of it. I'm like, that cheeky bitch, cheeky cow Janet, she used that handbag. She escaped from the smoke and she managed to breathe. She lived another day.